Hey guys, it's Jamie here once again with some more BB-8 goodness. Uh, it's been a while, I, I know, uh, but I've been work busy printing out the panels for uh, my second version. Now that I've got my printer more dialed in, I decided to kind of go ahead and, and start printing some more parts that are uh, dimensionally more pro pro uh, appropriate. Uh, I had to do some tweaks to my printer, as you can probably see by the earlier videos that I did um, on adjusting the Z and Y axis. Uh, but anyways, so uh, here we have the panels. These are the panels that are the orange ones here on this one. And what we're going to be doing now is actually creating the ball from the 3D prints. Instead of going and buying the California Quality Plastics 200mm uh, uh, ball or 20 inch ball. So uh, here we have a fresh print right off the printer. I still have to do a lot more work to it. I'm going to have to pop this out actually and put the the uh, the, um, the pins in the center that go in, in between the, the two circular parts there. But um, that's that's a fresh piece basically. I haven't I haven't processed that yet. Or I processed it a little bit with paint and some other things. But uh, this is what we're looking at now. So what I've done is I've used some high strength uh, iso polyester resin. That that word right there. And I've used some matte fiber fiberglass. And uh, what we're doing here is uh, we're lining the fiberglass inside the panel. Uh, th this was done probably about 20, 30 minutes ago. It's still a little bit tacky. Uh, but we're basically lining the inside of this just to give it some strength across all the parts that were 3D printed. So once that's done uh, and it's dried up, it looks something like this. So the next part after that would be to uh, mix some of the same resin with roughly about half uh, aluminum powder. Now that does two things. It adds strength to the, to the part and it also adds uh, a metallic color to the inside. So this is the final product. You get something that's, once you sand it down, it's smooth, easy to work with, and it looks kind of cool because it's metallic. So uh, the plan with this is, is once I get the, the triangle pieces printed out, uh, the edges are still untouched. So we can still glue parts to this. Uh, the, the, the triangle panels will be fiberglass in the, in the, the same similar manner. And then we brush in the, the, uh, the resin and aluminum powder mixture to kind of coat the whole thing. So it gives it not only aluminum finish, but it kind of finishes the whole thing and creates a, a more stronger part. So uh, there'll be more videos on this soon. Uh, I'm just starting with the panels for right now. And once I get those done and move on to the triangle pieces and then start printing those out, uh, I'll be showing that. But I kind of wanted to give you a brief overview, overview of uh, the process that I'm doing to create the, bo the, the ball or the body of BB-8 uh, with fiberglass rather than instead of trying to go buy a $500 ball or a $150 ball. Uh, this is about $24. Uh, you, you could probably do about half a ball with this. So you, you end up probably spending about $50 to, you know, whatever, plus your materials for your printer uh, to print these out. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, and share. It lets me know that you guys enjoy these videos. And as always, guys, do your thing. Thanks for watching.